Hi guys, I'm Crystal Scott, and I actually went to Hobby Lobby again. We came back to Florida, which is currently where I'm living from New Jersey. The first haul was a haul from New Jersey Hobby Lobby, and now this is a haul from the Florida Hobby Lobby. I wanted to see if they had as many things on sale, what they had on sale, and um, if it was more of a chain type thing with everything on sale or what. They still had marker and pens uh, sets and pencil sets on sale for 40% off. I didn't go into that. I uh, didn't dip my foot into that. Pretty much everything in here except one thing was on sale with the red, the red clearance stickers. First, this is the only thing that was not on sale. We used a 40% coupon on this. As you guys know, I have a Prismacolor hand sharpener that I hate. Um, it doesn't work. It breaks the tips off. It's awful. So I bought this to try it out. Had all right reviews from what I could see. It goes from automatic to, um, to manual. There's a click you can use and it's battery operated. So I thought this might be better than what I had. I wanted to open it, but surprise, I have trouble with that. There we go. Look at that. So it's got one for manual, one for not manual. A lock and a non-lock. It's got battery and manual. I don't know if it has batteries in it. Let me check. Nope, no batteries. Wow, it needs two big batteries. Wow, alright. So I'll get that sorted. And we'll uh, take a look at this maybe in a review at some point. It looks really nice for $12.99. With a 40% off coupon, I believe it was $7. Hold on, I have it here. $7.79 with the coupon. That's not bad. Alright, so everything else is clearance stickers. This is a Faber-Castell 24 set duo tip washable markers, which must mean they are, if they're washable, they might be watercolors. I got them for $2.49. It's a huge set, 49 markers, uh, 40, 24, my god, I'm sorry that my dyslexia bothered you guys. <laughs> Normally it just bothers me, but not today. How do I get this open? Hold on. There's a big swash of tape here. Um, there's actually something that I think might have been returned from someone that I have, but I'll get into that in a minute. I gotta get this tape off. Oof. Oh, okay, tape off. It happened. All right, so these are the markers. They're double tipped in different colors, which is pretty cool. There's a yellow, they're, um, you know, bullet tipped. Almost has a little, almost like a Crayola set. Um, I thought they were really cool and they had a whole bunch of different colors in here because they're double colored on each end. So I thought it was really, really spiffy and I can't wait to try these out. I got them for $2.49. Big set too. Oof. It's still sticky. Alrighty. On to the next thing. So you guys saw that I got a set of these gray ones. I got a gray set of these in the New Jersey Hobby Lobby. And this one is a set of blues. Um, they didn't have this in the set of Hobby Lobby. They're normally $21.99. $21.99. I got them for $5.49. And I'm really excited. Blue is my favorite color. They're brush tipped. We've got like a blue gray in there. They're actually not soft brush tipped. They're just brush tipped. So they're, they're definitely harder than the other markers. But I can't wait to give them a try. It's like a blending trio almost. Get them back in there. So I can't wait to get, give these a try. I'm really excited. Really, really excited. Um, then we have a bunch of Windsor and Newton markers. I have a bunch of these. You guys have seen my collection. I have a couple of them. Um, I got ivory and blush to skin tones. As far as I know, these aren't refillable and it looks like they're actually going out of stock everywhere. But they're normally um, $4.99 and I got them each for $1.40, $1.24, I'm sorry, I am dyslexic. So let me show you the rest of the colors. So I got ivory, blush, 
two skin tones. I love skin tones. I love choosing, picking from different brand skin tones, so I got them. I also got um, Ice Gray 3 and Ice Gray 2. I love gray sets and I wanted to try them too. They've got a bulky end, um, chisel, and what is, I think, a bullet. Yeah, small bullet. They're usually very hard to open. I checked all these and they were fine. So, I picked these up a dollar twenty-four each. Pretty good deal. Now the last thing in here is this. Now I'm pretty sure these are repackaged. I'm not sure. I, I think they might be repackaged from Hobby Lobby because I've seen these. Oh, maybe they're not. They're not. Look at that. They're still ripped. But these are really cool. This is a set of 25 Stablo Fine Point Fine Liners. You guys know I love Stablo. I have a whole big neon set of these that I love. Let's take a look at them. They come in this cool case, like a pen roll. I love that. Look, there's a little zipper here. I guess you can put a couple of things in there. And there's a whole bunch of different colors. Look at that. Wow, right? It's got yellow, orange, red, crimson, a peach color. This is a lot of colors. And it comes in this nifty case. So let's roll it back up again. So this is normally $30. I got it for $7.49. I, again, I thought they were repackaged, but they're not. That's really what they come in. And of course, you can probably pull them out this way too, but then you'd have trouble getting them back in. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you guys could stay with me for a while. I gotta put this back in my copy case. Can't believe it stayed away from me. And I gotta go find batteries for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.